Hey guys, it's been a while since I've been on camera, so I thought I would do a video uh, just to catch up a little bit. I actually had a question from a potential user for Contextual Electronics, and they're asking, and I've gotten this question a bunch before, but they're asking about what can they do to get prepared for Contextual Electronics if they're looking to sign up for the class in the future. And I thought that was a great question because I've gotten it before and because, you know, there are some things that you can be doing in order to really, you know, start your electronics journey. A lot of people who are interested in Contextual Electronics are kind of starting from scratch and and that's good what we've always said from the beginning is contextual electronics is really for people that are usually advanced Arduino users stuff like that and who have done some projects and getting into want to get into more of the design side of building their own electronics from scratch so uh, since it is advanced electro or advanced Arduino users one thing you can do is get an Arduino and start playing around with that, right? So there's lots of great projects out there for, you know, basically lighting up an LED, starting to talk to sensors, and, um, you know, basically learning about components by interacting with them on the digital side. So, you know, powering an LED, you probably also need a resistor, so you current limit the resistor. And there's lots of great online tutorials to kind of go through that stuff. That's actually a great way to kind of start figuring out what you need to do in terms of limitations of electronics and and then from there we can start building out into theory and and start looking at other things uh, as well so another thing uh, there's tons I mean let's be honest there's tons of great information on YouTube on uh, you know written sites stuff like that some of my favorite YouTube channels my co-host on the amp hour Dave Jones tons of great videos Alan Wolke Alan Yates Jerry Ellsworth uh, Ben Krasnow I mean basically there's tons and tons of great information out there where you can go and learn a bunch about electronics and, and what it really comes down to is learning what terms you want to search for and what you need to look for in the video title so that you know okay well I need to progress from here to here to here to here so you know it's always good to start with backgrounds on resistors capacitors inductors right those are passives and then from there moving into active components memories op amps uh, you know micro stuff like that and and basically those are gonna be your basic components Now we go over a lot of this stuff in the course but the assumption is that you've at least seen them before, so it's good to have that kind of background knowledge. Now, on the book side, um, someone I know, Ron Kwan, he just started a book called Electronics from the Ground Up. This is a great book. Uh, there's lots of other great beginner books. The uh, Make Guide to Electronics is a good one, and uh, all of the Forrest Mims books from the old Radio Shack days, wonderful books, uh, really help you to dig in and kind of, you know, a lot of them have that basic knowledge. The thing that I would caution you against is don't get too caught up in the math. The math is important, and it's definitely a big part of contextual electronics, but ultimately it's all about creating a mental construct around understanding that a resistor is really nothing more than a relationship between voltage and current, right? It is a physical thing, but also it represents this device that just kind of helps constrain the relationship between voltage and current. So that's an important, you know, it's important to kind of start getting these constructs set up in your head, and then you kind of, as you use more and more electronics and you start using them in uh, projects, right, which is what a big part of contextual electronics is, then you can really start to formulate that more. Another one, uh, this is kind of a big scary one, but this is what I call the Bible of Electronics, the art of electronics. Uh, it's kind of thick, but, um, you know, especially from the not so mathy side, I mean, it does have math, but, um, you know, this is a great reference, a little pricey, it's like almost a hundred bucks, uh, depending where you get it, but um, basically, it, I mean, it's got everything in there, so. It's, you know, it's got some older sections, like the digital stuff's a little bit older, but so much of it is so key in terms of learning about the relationships uh, for transistors and, and op amps and all that. A lot of the analog stuff that we're going to be talking about in contextual electronics, obviously we're going to be working on other stuff as well, digital stuff, Arduino. You know, we'll be interacting with a lot of different things, but it's important to have a good baseline, and I think that's one of the best baselines. So um, I know that there's not, I know a lot of people want like a one, two, three step. There's... There's lots of good programs you can follow. Um, in terms of the Arduino stuff, if you're if you're even still struggling just getting started with Arduino, I'll link a course below. Uh, my friend Michael runs a great course on getting started with Arduino. It's an online course. And what it really takes is interest and persistence. And if you have those two things, you're going to be in good shape. It's about finding, and then the third thing is probably finding a project that you know you want to work on and that you can start working towards that. Because if you know you want to build a widget, right, widget with you know, you're going to have to go and look into what are, what are some similar types of widgets that are out there, what are the components within that widget, and then, you know, what can, how can you go work backwards and start uh, 
understanding what's inside of there and what you need to learn. So that's all for now. Uh, hopefully you're still interested and hopefully uh, Contextual Electronics eventually will serve the needs of helping you to design that next widget that you really want to. Thanks for watching.